I got a two part question. Do so it. the first part is, do you find in consulting uh, and talking with most other real estate investors, the way they run their business is they do not pay themselves uh, a, a W-2. They do not pay themselves a salary and they just pray at the end of the month or the end of the week or the end of the year, they got something left over for them. Uh, that's the first part of the question. That's a yes or no question. The second part of the question. Well, let me let, let me let you answer that, okay. and I'll give you the second part. So that I can say simply yes. That is what most people are doing. They don't have a system to pay themselves consistently, and they're feeling very anxious. Yeah. So the second part of the question is, what is your advice? Okay. So in this system for profit first, I'm just going to go into the mindset of profit first. We have. The formula that we've heard from accounting, or maybe you've heard it at a mastermind, or maybe you've heard it just in general that, or this makes sense to you, sales minus expenses equals profit. What Jay was just saying, that you make a sale and then you spend your money and hopefully at the end of the month, year, whenever you have a profit. So that's that old formula, sales minus expenses equals profit. But the profit first formula, because we're real estate investors, we love our formulas, it's sales minus profit equals expenses, meaning I make a sale, I transfer my profit first, I take that profit, and then my business has left over is the expenses to live off of. And that's the mindset. But we've heard that. We've heard that over and over again. Like in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he says, you know, like pay yourself first or, and the richest man in Babylon, a portion of all I have is mine to keep. You know, it's like, we've heard that mindset over and over again, but profit first has the answer to how do you make profit a habit inside your business? How do you make it sales minus profit equals expenses? And that is to make sure that in order for you as a business owner to pay yourself consistently, most people, like I said, the biggest mistake they make is having that one big bank account where everything goes through and you have no idea what's what money is in there that's actually yours. So that's where this system is built like the envelope system. Like if you have your personal finances all apportioned out in your cash, if you've heard that, maybe you do it, maybe your grandparents did it, maybe you heard it from Dave Ramsey or whatnot. But it's the same concept, but for business, but with bank accounts. Because as an entrepreneur, I 100% guarantee you are looking at your bank accounts more than you're looking at your QuickBooks online accounts or your QuickBooks you know, reports. You're checking the bank accounts, seeing, do I have money here? So like, let's leverage what you're already doing to, in order to make sure that you have a consistent system to pay yourself. So how do you do that? Set up physical bank accounts and have them named that are specifically for you. And I'll go into the ones that I recommend here, the foundational accounts, that this is how, this was the question that Jay was asking, how do you make profit a habit and how do you make sure you're paying yourself? This is how you do it. I call the first three sets, the first three accounts that you should open, bank accounts, the golden trio, because I love epic stories, epic sagas like Star Wars, Harry Potter, like all these big ones that have three main heroes like Luke Han and Leia that are always pushing the story forward for good. They're always making sure good wins in the end. Your business is your epic saga. Your properties is your epic story. We need to make sure there's three main heroes always working for you. So those bank accounts is are the profit account the owner's compensation account, and the owner's income tax, separate from your operational expense account. So these accounts are for you. Profit is something you take quarterly, and that's for the reward for you having a profitable business. The owner's compensation, here's the answer to pay yourself first. Open that owner's compensation and then decide, do I need to go on W-2 or take a bi-weekly you know, distribution from this account? Set yourself up to give yourself a paycheck every other week or however often that you need that money on a consistent basis so that way you are paying yourself consistently. Because if you're a business owner, a small business owner scaling your business, you need to be able to pay yourself. So making sure you have an account specifically for if you are doing work inside the business. So that is like your salary account. And then the third one, owner's income tax, making sure that you don't have to sell a deal at the end of the year or four or five just to cover your tax bill. 
This is for your taxes throughout the year or at the end of the year when you have the tax bill due for you, that the business pays for it for you. If you set those up, those are for you, the business owner. This is how you can get consistent. I always say too, there's another account, the income account, which is like a control account where it's just a holding bucket where all your deposits come into until you separate out that money and transfer it to your profit account, your owner's comp to the owner's income tax. Like now you are controlling the money. That's what we're wanting. We're wanting to make profit a habit on every single deal that you do. And we want you to get you consistently paying yourself and we can, and at being a healthy business and a healthy business owner, because most people aren't stressed and most people aren't losing sleep just because they lose money in their business. They lose sleep because they lose control or they feel that lack of control. So setting this up gives you control over how you view your finances, how you view your cash and putting you back in the driver's seat. So that would be my answer is the profit first system gives you those the actual teeth behind this mindset that we've heard over and over again as real estate investors about paying yourself first. Here's the steps how to do it. And if you're thinking four bank accounts, are you nuts? Like just set up one bank account. Call it profit and transfer 1% of all your sales or 1% of all your rental income. Just getting in the habit of being profitable. That's how you really cure what Jay was asking about. How do you have help owners pay themselves? It's by getting them in the habit of becoming profitable on every deal and making sure a portion of all they have that is coming in is theirs to keep. So that is how we set that up to make sure that they have that in place. David, that is awesome advice. Tell everybody once again.